Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this is the second view of restoring this case. Um, resto modding this case actually. Um, I'm just busy sanding this part, this grill at the back here, yeah, and I'm going to spray it black because it'll just look better than the like rusty piece of scrap metal it is at the moment. So yeah, and I'm not going to be able to sand all in between everywhere but I mean, if I get most of it off it should be better than what it was and yeah after spraying it it might just protect it long enough to last a few more years okay so what I thought of doing is just spraying this area black the bottom off basically just so you can't see any of this through the face uh, where the grill is going to sit. As I said, the top you're not going to see at all. So, and this is going to be behind the um, front panel. So this I'm just going to take off quick and then mask the top off and yeah, clean it. Okay, well, first clean it and then mask it off. But yeah, that should be, should be, should come out good. Put that aside, and now I can go ahead and clean it. Okay, so I finished masking it off, and I did scuff it up a bit. Um, I don't want to touch it, but it is clean. And um, yeah, so give the rattle can a bit of a shake. Pour some cheap black aerosol spray, and then just a few light coats. It's actually spraying heavy. Now I masked it off on the sides because I don't want the paint to actually go around it. It's just the face I want to paint black. So paint the edges where I dremeled. And then basically let it rest for a few minutes and then paint another coat and then maybe another coat if it's still needed. Okay, so I wound up doing only two coats. Um, it came out pretty nice for something that you're not going to see. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so it's still a bit tacky, the paint. So I'm just going to take off the masking tape. In the meantime, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it looks a bit strange now, but as I said, you're not going to see it at all. The paint is still tacky. So what I'm going to do is I actually have a my aircon condenser unit inside the garage. So that's going to help heat up the space and cure this paint even faster. Uh, give it a nice hard finish. And yeah, at some point I am going to improve the lighting in this garage. Because, yeah, it, it's terrible. Um, but yeah, I'll probably make a video of that as well. Upgrading the garage's lighting. Light? Lighting? Lights? Anyway. I um, already did the cupboards and the kitchen. Renovated that. But, yeah. That's, that's a video for another time. That unit does sound a bit rough, but... Yeah, there's a lot of hot air coming off this, so I should heat up this little garage in no time. And then I'll come check it up out in two hours again. Paint should be cured. Okay, so I got a bit impatient and I did not wait that long. Um, that's the first lesson you should learn when painting anything, is don't rush it at all. So I, what I did was mask off on the inside so the spray doesn't go into the... PC case and get overspray everywhere. So yeah, that's basically just what I'm gonna do is 
and then I'll take the inside masking tape off and then spray from the inside out as you can see there so the grill is done looks nice it looks like it's gonna hide it a bit when the fan is actually installed which would be nice um, that's kind of what I was going for okay so onto the top part of the case um, just an easy method to do is to slide in some cardboard pieces into the corners where you don't want the actual frame being sprayed um, that's just a quick way to get it sprayed and looking nice the next part is to completely take apart the front panel as to spray every part and uh, these side pieces I already took off as you can see they were sitting on the on each of the corners um, they only have little tabs holding them in so that was easy to take off and I'm using a Phillips for this but anything that works you know um, so this acrylic piece I want to take out because I definitely do not want to spray that so I'm just going to push that little tab in and it should pop out easily okay so there's the one part and then this button seems to have a spring to it so you need to be careful not to lose that so two tabs as well just press it out gently and there's the spring I was talking about um, so just keep that aside I'm also going to spray that separately and this little button the reset button the tabs on this case button needs to be pushed out the back but it's easier said than done I get that tab out there we go okay so with that done I need to take off this mesh as well um, these two little covers for floppy drives okay two tabs easy just pop them up with your, pop them out with your finger <laughs> this mesh grill is just held in with bent pieces so you want to take your time and bend these up don't hurt yourself I know I'm not using the correct tool but like I said if it works just don't do something dangerous and think of using a knife that's that's gonna end badly okay two tabs down a few more to go thing is you don't want to pry these off and twist and twist and twist until you break them okay so easy to that comes out without a problem this part I'm also going to respray so I'm going to scuff all of this up not too much as to go through the existing paint still want the new paint to grab onto something and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to spray this inside um, so that you don't have like a black uh, sorry a white mesh with a black background which would look weird I guess all of this I'm just going to scuff up real quick give it a nice clean and then should be ready for a few coats of paint okay so while the other parts are drying um, these I previously scuffed up and I can't stress this enough you should use primer on especially bare plastics but yeah this is just an experiment just to see what will happen if it will actually hold up and the paint I'm using isn't even a paint and primer as some other products advertise but as I said this is just a cheap project um, just to see how it goes see if it holds up well I'm hoping it does a few light coats not even too worried about the logo on the little drive slot 
just trying to cover every angle I possibly can. I didn't even take out the little button, but hopefully I can get proper coverage through that. Trying not to hold the can too close to the part. Okay. And I'll let that dry a bit and come back for some more coats. I actually got out of this cardboard just so that I don't have to mask off the whole entire PC. Some light coats. That should be good. Okay, so next day, um, I actually had to go buy some more paint. But this is what I've been doing today is just mask off the buttons, the back. Because this part that slides in and out, there's like little guides basically. If you paint that, it'll make it difficult to move in and out. No matter how thin the paint is, it's just going to happen and you don't want that so I just masked it off. I'm just going to cut into this box a bit just so I can have this sit upright while I paint it. Which will just make it easier for me. The face I'm going to paint now as well as the grill. Other parts I actually finished painting last night. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And we'll let that dry again for a bit and come back in a few minutes. Okay, so now I've got the side panel here and I've just prepared it for painting. Um, what you want to do with large panels especially is to get every single piece of particle off that's dust or whatever may be on the panel because you will see that in the end product and that's the mistake a lot of people make is not getting all of the dust off, um, sand or anything that the wind may blow onto it. That's why it's important to actually paint inside, rather, if you can. Otherwise, a very quiet day where the wind's not blowing should be fine. But there's always going to be something that lands in your paint, or before you spray it, or on your paint. Anyway, just to hoping there's no dust on the actual panel. And here we go. Now it's important to also note that during this whole build I'll probably be going through about four of these cans. They don't have the best coverage but it is a basically cheap spray and it's a 250 milliliter whatever that is in American. I've also been using a matte white instead of a gloss. You'll see that a gloss is a lot harder to paint than matte especially with spray cans because a matte comes out a lot more evenly than a gloss would because of streaks and dry spots and all of that um, that's why it's important to get your last coat a proper wet coverage but with matte it's not as big of an issue because you won't be seeing any dry spots because the whole thing looks dry to start with Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've finished painting all the front panel pieces. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like all complete and assembled. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you want to see all this being assembled and getting to the finished product, subscribe, like this video, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. The YouTube light starter kit.